Here I have a list of 87 champions that I think are worth empowering. Epic champions are getting empowered and I'm going to talk about 87 of them that I think are worth it. And at the same time, for every minute that passes, I'm going to be uh, taking a bite of chip. I'm going to eat a chip and I'm also going to have like dip it into this uh, ghost pepper sauce. I don't know if you can see it here. Let me show you guys ghost pepper sauce. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I hate spicy food, but we, we've had uh, this left over from New Year's and I figured why not put it to good use. So what I'll do is I'll pour it in this little um, container here. I'll make sure you guys can see it. And I'm going to go ahead and talk about 87 of the epic champions. Every epic champion that I think is worth empowering. I can like it's already spiced out like I can feel my my taste I'm, I'm sweating I'm sweating this is a this is a lot so I have the timer right there and every minute that passes so I'm gonna try and do this very fast I want to be a uh, cognizant of your guys' times as um, content consumers and um, just to make it a little more entertaining so I'll start the timer every one minute that passes I'm going to take a bite now I have some chips here in case this runs out, we have a little more uh, chips right here as well. Okay. Here, to, to get started, I'll, uh, I'll just, uh, I'll start, I'll start right here. Oh, it's on my thumb. Stagnite. Oh, Stagnite is a great champion for, um, he's great for empowerment because, oh, it's hot. Um, he's got an A1 that uh, decreases speed. He's got AOE decreased defense and decreased attack. And I think overall he's great for the dungeons. He can provide a lot of support. Uh, he can also do some damage actually. Oh, I, I, I actually use him in a, a lot of my... It's so spicy. Oh, dungeon teams. He does this increased accuracy thing, but that's not that important. Um, Geomancer. Oh, why is it all out of order? Where's Geomancer? Oh my god. Um, Geomancer. We obviously have to talk about Geomancer. His reflect da damage with the HP burns. Oh my god, there's a minute coming. His reflect damage with the HP burns um, provide a lot of damage. And uh, <clears throat> the full turret meter completion. <laughs> Mom! Decrease attack uh, accuracy. He can also remove buffs, steal them. Oh my god, it's so hot. Can you... Um, but this isn't the main thing here. The weekend and the H <coughs> burns <coughs> on a three-turn cooldown. And the passive here decreases the damage all allies receive by 15%. Deflecting that damage onto each enemy with an HP burn. Deflects 30% of that damage instead. My cat wants to know what's going on. She smells the spice. Okay, now we're gonna go over to the Deacon. Uh, I think he's in the Sacred Order, right? Oh my god, I can't find Deacon. Oh, there's Deacon. Deacon Armstrong needs no introduction. Hills turn meter of all allies. And then, oh wow, it's so spicy. Uh. He does his move. <clears throat> Great for Arena. Grants himself an extra turn. He's got all, all, all ally speed battles increased by 19%. Oh, it's so spicy. Uh, a leech on the A1. AoE decreased defense. Okay, now we're looking at Fat Man. Farragut the Fat. Why are they? I should have put them in order by faction. Okay. The best, th the best thing about Farragut the Fat is, is his... Uh, HP burns and his poison, so you could you could um, you could uh, help he could uh, sand devil, and then uh, ally uh, thing ally attack I, ally attack on everybody. No, oh, oh, I'm not taking any water by the way until this is done. Doom priest, night revenant, doom priest. The main thing is her passive. She heals everybody. 
by 7.5% of her HP, and then removes one random debuff, like a mini Tuanarok. Great for um, to win clan boss, helping you out in the dungeons if you need it, and early on maybe even arena. She has a nice speed aura for force people. Okay, Archmage Helmet. Where is he? Oh god, what, what faction is he in? Uh, Dark Elves? No, he's not. I can't remember. Yeah. Oh boy. What uh, what faction is he in? Okay, Archmage Helmet. Helmet, 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 uh, and it's a, it's a, The main thing I like about Helmet, and why I think he's worth empowering if he can, I don't know if he can because he's from the Doom Tower, is he can stun everybody, helping you with wave clearing. Also, if you pair him with Seer, he gives you all these buffs. And then Arena Battles by 17%. Okay, Ursula the Mourner. <laughs> I don't know where I was. <laughs> oh. Uh, where is she? Where is she? Oh, she's here. Uh, early on, I think Ursula the Morn is really good for uh, revive, and that's the main thing. She can revive. She does an AOE revive and increases the defense and strength. And okay, Lady Annabelle. <coughs> The main thing about Lady Annabelle is Bommel. You can solo Bommel with her. Row one. Oh. Rowan? Where's Rowan? Oh god, I can't remember where she is from. Where is she from? Guys, where's Rowan from? Ah. Uh, uh. Oh, that's not Rowan. Oh my god, I don't have Rowan. I forgot what champion, where, where she's from. No! Okay. Where's Rowan from? Um... Is she a dark elf? We gotta... There's gotta be a better way to find these champions. Oh. Okay. Okay, relax. Yeah. Oh, I need water. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, there's another one. Another one coming. Oh, no, 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 no. Mm. Here we go, another one. I don't know where Rowan's from. Where is Rowan from? Okay, next one. I can't remember. We'll get back to her. Royal Guard. What was it? Well, maybe she was Banner Lords? Uh. Oh, she is Banner Lords. Oh my god. Two minutes. Uh, main Clan Boss. You can empower her for Clan Boss. She does a lot of damage. Royal Guard. He does a lot of damage. His EMHP move is particularly useful to do big damage against bosses. He's got decreased speed. And it's a multi-hitter, a four-hitter. Yeah. Oh, we have Tyrell. Tyrell is an OG. He's not really used anymore. But, uh... I still think you could pull him early on and he'd be really good. Really tanky as a defense-based nuker. Then it's so the same thing. 
Except he can heal and place increased defense. Oh, super tanky. Super tanky. Um. Penicil, Neldor. Neldor is blade, particularly for Fire Knight, hard Fire Knight with his triple freeze. I did a video on him. Check that out, please. Virgis, Solo Scarab, make him stronger. Fenix. Uh, he hits really fucking hard. Block revive. Uh, on the A1. Strong multipliers. Uh, I know that um Gavin Masters raid um Oh Gavin uses him. Live when he smacks. Ah, oh, damn it. Mordecai, empower him. Spider, HP burns. Cardinal, revives. Stone skin. Um, Inquisitor Shamael. Hydra, your head. He hits hard to an arena. Aniri, revive. Sand Devil and other areas of the game. I did a guide on her. Ah. Uh, Icatoon. Really strong base speed. 104. She goes really fast. She's great for setting up and an arena. And overall, great aura all around. Worth empowering for sure. Sky Touch Summon. Huh? Another one. Oh. Stun set. Iron Twins. Oh, revives. I don't know what it is, but my heart is just... <clears throat> this is probably not a good decision. But it's something I've always wanted to do. Ugo. Ugo, obviously, great for AoE decreased defense if you don't have one. And he brings the block... Block, vi <clears throat> block revives, as well as heals and a removal of debuff. Particularly great for Hydra. Water makes it worse. Skull Crusher. Counter-attack champion. Really tanky. Great for unkillable teams. Scrank. Here we go. We can do it. He does a lot in Hydra. HP burns, spider, worth it. Euro Grim, great for keeping survivability up. Ugh. Continuous heals, mini bad Alcazar, increased speed by 20% in all battles. Ugh. Ugh. Man Eater, obviously for clan boss, you can do more damage to get that one key that you need. Also, particularly good for Arena. He's great for Arena. Ugh. Yareg. Where's Yareg? Is he a oh, huh? lizard man? Uh, Yareg. Yareg is good. Uh, Centronos decreased attack. He's good for clan boss, traditional teams. Increased defense and ally protect. Oh! Uh. Uh. I'm shaking. Venomage. Venomage. Uh, recently to solo or to help out with Amius, but the uh, with a decrease attack, decrease defense, good for clan boss. Uh, it's something else. Poisons. No. Uh, uh, worth empowering. God, I came into this so confident. Aox the Rememberer. I particularly like him. Uh, there were some Doom Tower secret rooms that I used him in. Um, Iron Twins. Uh, poisons, heals, decrease attack and decrease crit rate, increase the ratio of two random buffs. I also like him in Centranos. <sighs> uh, um, uh, Quargon, heals, faction wars, uh, shield, help for survivability. Broadmaw, revives. Heals, block damage, 
freeze on the A1. Secret rooms. <sighs> Yorg. Yorg. Where's Yorg? Skinwalker? Where's Yorg? Jorg? Yorg? Undead? Why is he over here? I can't find him. Uh, I can't find him. Where is he? Uh, Rodma? Where is he? Orc? He's an orc. Okay. Uh, Yorg. Uh, Faction Wars, I particularly used him for reviving. Okay, another one. Another one. It was worth it for secret rooms. It's in Toronto's. If you don't have a reviver. Increased turn meter also an increased attack. Talgar. Increased speed. Heals. <clears throat> increased defense. Shields. Yeah. Uh, and revives. Decreases damage received by allies by 50%. Uh, with HP 50 or less by 10%. Great for survivability. Vrask. Uh -huh. Okay, Phil's turn here. Look, the main thing is his heals. He heals every time you crit. Build him with crit. He's worth empowering. Do it. Sans last survivor. Early on, I was using her in uh, arena battles because of her ally protector and her block damage. And she helps out a lot of faction wars too. Damage mitigation. Shaman. Why? No, Shaman, not Shaman. She's not supposed to be here. Allure. Allure? What? Why is... Uh, where, where is she? Obviously, see her for wave clearing. She does heavy amounts of damage. Allure. For her A1, where she pushes back turn meter at a 3 hitter. Great for the Dark Fate. And for... And for Fire Knight. She can also decrease defense and sleep. Helps with the waves getting up to that point. Um, Akoth. Akoth the Seer is a reliable HP burner that you get from Doom Tower. Especially for, um, Spider. Paid my... I use Padma for decrease attack and decrease accuracy against the Griffin early on. And the removal of all buffs. And places it. This right here. For the Griffin. Uh, the Griffin in, um. Or was it the. It was the Griffin and Eternal Dragon that I used her for Doom Tower. The decrease attack on the A1 is particularly useful. Umbral Enchantress Arena. Ugh. This move right here. Provoke, block active skills, and unkillable. He's worth it. Empower if you don't have anybody else. Okay. Achak. Really good for wave clearing, getting through uh, like Ice Golem, or, um, you know, she, uh, he brings HP burns also for Spider. It's a fake one. Aura. Uh, uh, Magnor. Uh, Magna for, uh, he hits hard as a nuker. Arena and Centranos. Oh, I feel like the water is not helping. Yeah. Uh, sorry, guys. I'm a little disgusting right now, but hope you're enjoying seeing me suffer. Okay, go, 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 Rab. Obviously, he has the revives. He's got increased attack and turn meter fill. Arena battles by 23%. Great for arena and faction wars. Uh. Seeker. You can use him in arena. He's really good with the provoke against the eternal uh, magma dragon. 
Then obviously Clan Boss, he can do more damage, empower him. Catalum Calcum Cancer. Uh, this ally attack is pretty useful, especially in Arena. So use him if you want to dominate Arena. At least uh, for the lower tiers of uh, gold and below. Dark Elaine smacks really hard. Really great against champions that try to place freeze on your team. Husk. Provoke on the A1. Great for the head of cleansing. Or whatever it's called in Hydra. And his A2 um, uh, is a HP, EM HP move right here. So it hits really hard, especially for Hydra. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Mausoleum Mage. Mainly for block buffs increased um, defense and for the heals and then move over all debuffs by each um, thing healed. Volgoth. Every time you hit him, I did a video on him. Every time you hit him, he heals your entire team. Really tanky. He's worth it. Annex. Great for clan boss. Decrease defense with A1. Poisons and weaken. Austerix, I haven't seen too many guides on him, but he can transfer debuffs. He does block damage, or block buff. Increase. He just he does a lot of damage. He does a Hydra. He's is a great Hydra champion. Come for a, uh. Come for the Death Keeper. Transfers a random debuff. Attacks everybody, heals, he's good for spider, and uh, early arena, a kill one taunt, and I'm sure, I think I saw a clan boss team put together with him. <sighs> Alright. Dark Kale. Um, I, I've, I've just seen people talk good things about him, I've never used him. Decrease attack on the A1, poison and poison sensitivity. As well as decrease crit rate, but I don't think he's important for that. But he, uh, he seems like somebody who's, who's worth um, empowering. No, don't touch your eye. Spider. Um, uh, he's on this team because he's got fast animations. And he plays with decrease defense. And weaken on all enemies. I learned about him by watching Sam. Solstice. Uh, Rian the Conjurer. Uh, removes all buffs from enemies. So a buff strip from your enemies. He's got the revival, so really good for bomb teams in arena, or just good for a, rev a reviver if you need one. The Rhea smacks really hard, and she also places the block revive, good for early arena. Block buffs also, I'm pretty sure for Centrano, she's really good. Um, Lua also smacks really damn hard, and the AoE three time hitter with the heal is really uh, hard to beat. Obviously, Sylar. Sylar has a AOE on her A1. Put her in a stun set for some crowd control. Madame Sally. You can uh, do a god on her, which is great for early arena. Not so much in higher uh, arena anymore, but she's still good for PvE. Oh, Aj. Okay. Mm. Miscreated monster. Not so much anymore, but he still does decrease defense and stun. And stun on the A2 with the shield, so you can still use him <coughs> in lower arena. And really good in spider. He also helps with continuous heals on himself. And ally protect on, on your entire team. Really cool. And if you if anybody hits while uh, he's got shields or, or uh, ally protect, I mean. Place a fear on that champion that attacked you. Sinesha pairs well with Skull Crown that we'll get to. Hits really hard. Uh, cooldowns, skills on cooldown with A2 and uh, equalize HP, really handy. Doom Priest, I think we just talked about. Sepulcher Sentinel, uh, really great for clan boss. Decrease attack on the A1. Increase defense and block debuffs. Good for early arena. 
Rector Draft, good for Hydra. Decrease attack on layer one. Revives, perfect veils. Continuous heal, heals. Good champion for Hydra and for uh, faction wars. Very reliable. Golden Reaper was someone I used uh, early on because she has a fast base speed of 111. You can empower her, use her A3 to uh, increase speed and boost turn meter like a mini um, Arbiter. Obviously Skull Crown, uh, great for campaign farming, faction wars, um, and arena. Oh, my stomach is not feeling good. <sighs> Whisper. She, uh... Yeah. It's really hard. Great for clan boss and for Hydra. And you put her in a relentless set, she hits she hits multiple times. Really great uh, if you don't have a, a decent damage dealer. Mm. We're at uh okay, dwarves now. Okay, almost there. Alright. Dwarves. Grizzled Yarld. Uh great for um Clan boss, especially early on if you're trying to get a um, um, a traditional team going. Great for arena. Increased defense and block buffs. Helps your team survive. Same reason. Regard Sergeant. Faction Wars. Clan boss. Decrease attack on the A2. Heals and ally protect to help keep, uh, keep your team alive. Plus, um... HP increase for force allies. Uh, Rockbreaker. I used him early on and I've seen him um, used in Arena because of his counterattack and his provoke. And it uh, decreases the damage each time he's attacked. Melga. Pretty much the same reason as uh, Rear Guard Sergeant, but she actually does the heals, or uh, the revives. Gala. Gala is really great because she smacks really hard. I've seen people use her in like Plat Arena even. She just hits really hard, worth empowering for sure. <sighs> Alright. Taragi is worth empowering because um, uh, Faction Wars, he's got the reflect damage and the ally protect. And he does um, poisons with his passive. So really great for Faction Wars. In Clan Moss. Hosatsu. Faction Wars, decrease attack. Increase defense and continuous heals. It's underrated. I think Urangiri, you can solo one of the bosses using him because of his um, ability to heal. You put him in a regen set. Whenever somebody uh, dies, he's going to heal. Mm. Gori. Um, hard Fire Knight because he has freezes. And multi hitters and counter attack. Kinigashi, you're gonna want to keep him and empower him because he does the revive and increased defense. And he does uh, team up with random allies, but it's um, it's mostly the revive that you're gonna need for faction wars. All right, where's uh, where are we? Obro. I actually didn't know too much about Obro. Until I saw Taraku do a video with her doing uh, talking about Hydra, so I think she's worth empowering now. Genbo for Arena. He smacks really hard. He's a great nuker. Creedon. Creedon has multi-hitters that do freezes. So just like Naldo Rizblade, he's great for hard fire knight. Help push back the turn meter. Dudin is also another great champion. Help for um, survivability. Removes a random debuff. Great for Hydra. He's got the heals. He's got taunt, strength, and counter attacks as well. Um, Daithi. Mist Rider. Yeah, Mist Rider. Daithi is um, really great for doing damage in Faction Wars. Especially for the Sylvan Watchers. You're not going to have too many damage dealers. So you're definitely going to want to have somebody like him. To help you out. 
Born is extremely tanky and he does poison, poison sensitivity. So he's tanky, he can help you solo some content, especially helping you out in faction wars. Ruella places a lot of debuffs. You could actually use her uh, in a composition against Sand Devil because the more debuffs you have on that champion, on the Sand Devil, the more damage you can do. And she's also great for faction wars. And last but not least, we have Nia. I use Nia in um, Hydra, and she's particularly great because her moves are AoE, so you put her in a Hex set, or you put her in Provoke, she does really, really well. She's able to remove, uh, remove debuffs from an ally and then heal them, and then help uh, decrease their cooldowns for their skills by two. And um, I don't really use her, her A3. That's it right there. So, hey, content.